Hello, everyone. My name is Reed, and I work for Kapwing.com. And I'm excited because this morning I co-hosted my first webinar ever over Zoom. I basically ended up with this 40-minute, really great chunk of video that now I'm going to trim down and select out certain parts to share on social media. Um, so again, this is my first time doing this, um, but I'll show you how easy it is with Kapwing. And um, yeah, hopefully by the end, you'll know exactly what to do when you have a Zoom recording as well. Really quick, just wanted to show you how you record in Zoom in the first place. Uh, it's really easy once you're already in a meeting. Uh, so you just click this record button at the bottom and that'll just start recording. You can stop it at any time or it'll end when the meeting is over. Uh, and then those videos will all show up on a Mac at least in your documents folder. So it, it creates this Zoom folder right here and it categorizes by session. Uh, and then here's my recording right here. This is the entire webinar. So what we're going to do is put this into kapwing.com and we'll do some chops and cuts and come out with a few final products we can use. When you go to Kapwing and you're signed in, it takes you directly to your workspace, which looks like this. Uh, I definitely recommend signing in for bigger projects like this. It just makes it a lot easier to keep track of all your files and it's free. I like to get started with a project like this by going new project, start with studio, and then you can either click to upload or I usually just drag in the file from the finder. So uh, it's gonna take a little while to upload here. Obviously it's a really large file. Um, so, yeah, while we wait for it to load, uh, I'll just kind of walk through what I'm going to do. So we've got the main recording here, which is about 40 minutes. So I want to bring that down to about half an hour um, by trimming off the edges, kind of what we don't need, maybe people introducing themselves at the beginning, uh, and then at the end kind of winding down with questions and answers and things like that. Uh, and then throughout the middle, just any part that kind of slows down or yeah, doesn't have a good pace to it, uh, I'll look for those and cut those out as well. So you can do this all in Kapwing and I'll show you as soon as this is done uploading. Awesome, so now that we've got the video in Kapwing, uh, all we have to do is click on it and then go up to the trim function in the top right. Uh, and here you can trim the video as a whole so you can cut off the edges. Uh, and then another cool feature is you can also add a cut to the anywhere in the middle. Um, so yeah, through this, you can do everything you need to just put a Zoom recording out while making it shorter. You can cut out a lot of unnecessary things from live streams this way. So once you've got it down to just the right length, we're gonna publish the first piece of content, which is the entire webinar, which has just been shortened down. So up in the top right, the big red publish button, uh, click that and it'll start working. So this process for a longer video can take definitely a long time. You can close the window, you can you know feel free to refresh it, um, you can leave and do whatever else, it's just gonna keep working. Um, just remember to come back later and make sure you, you remember you know where your workspace is at so you can access it. While that first piece is going, we're going to go back to our workspace. And um, you can do a couple of things to start on the next piece of content. So you can either copy the one that's currently publishing, or um, usually I'll just upload the video again. Um, it's about the same amount of time. And you don't have to undo the cuts you just did. So we've got our video uploading again, and then this time we're gonna go for really short cuts for social media. So I wanna find a specific moment in the middle of the video that um, I can take and add some captions to, and we could post it on Twitter or Instagram or wherever really. So in this one, I'm still doing a trim, but I'm looking for a specific section in the middle at about 18 minutes. Uh, so I'm gonna go right here. You can see in the left side, you can get pretty precise with where you're cutting down to. I think it's about right here. Yep, perfect. So this is the part of the video I'm going through our video editing capabilities and I'm just gonna trim that down to a nice 30-ish, 25 seconds from that point. All right, and then, yeah, it's gonna load a little bit once we get back to the screen, but now instead of being a 40 minute video, it's a 25 second clip. And then here, what's cool is you can crop it a little bit, so I'm gonna go probably one, one, just a square. And then you can add padding to the top and bottom. So little space for words, which is great. So I'm gonna, yeah, added padding to the top and bottom, uh, do a background color, kind of like this blue. Uh, and then on the top and bottom, you can put text. So we'll say video editing capabilities 
you can customize the text as well pretty easily, um, but I'm just going to keep it Arial for now. This just gives a little extra context for your viewers on social media, and uh, it makes your video pop out a little bit more and make it obvious kind of what the subject is. So um, yeah, I'm going to publish this again. So now we've got both videos publishing at the same time. And you can do this any number of times for different you know, pieces of content or social media channels. Now you've taken one giant Zoom recording and you've split it into a bunch of different little pieces of content that you can post anywhere and get a lot of different uses out of. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're going to be making a lot more like it. Uh, again, my name is Reed, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Kapwing!